Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, from now on, I'm going to introduce you an artwork. It is called Mesh Flowers or Lilo Stocking Flowers because these uh, flowers, they are made of uh, this kind of Lilo Stockings. So here I'm showing you a blue rose. We can use all the we can use the materials on this table to make uh, this kind of flower. And so this one is blue. And I also made a pink rose. So you can see this rose is a little bit different. So for this nylon stocking I used in this flower, uh, the texture is a little bit different. So you see it looks, uh, there are some like silver string inside, it looks a little bit shiny. And this one is a peony. So this flower, we use a nylon stocking which has two colors. So it has a red and a yellow color. And the, of course this flower is a little bit bigger and it also has uh, some pollen inside, uh, in the center of this flower. Um, so next, uh, so this is a giant lotus. Uh, this flower actually is not easy to make. It takes me uh, a long time. And uh, you can see this flower, so the petals is a little bit different. So you can see the iron strings here. So it shows like the archi the structure of this flower. So to make these beautiful flowers, we need uh, these tools. Uh, first of all, we need a plier. This plier is quite small, and you can see it's a yeah a little pipe, a small pipe plier. Actually, it's quite flexible, and we need a scissor. The cotton the cotton thread. So we use this cotton thread to fix the petals of the flower. Actually this cotton thread, they have different colors. So usually I will use the white one. And I also have some green uh, cotton thread. So this is a green one. Yeah, I don't think they have a big difference. So usually I will use the white one. Uh, this is the mold. The mold they have different sizes. So actually, there are eight mold, eight, eight, eight different sizes here. So from this is the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We use this mold to make the petal of a flower. I think this mold might be cut from a pipe or something. Yeah. Uh, here is the stem, like the flower stem. Yeah. Actually, they also have different sizes of a stem. Uh, here, let me see. I also get some stems which is a little bit bigger. And the color is also lighter. Yeah. So usually this stem is uh, quite common and usually we use this one. Uh, for the iron string, they have different colors. So this is one that is a golden color. Uh, let me show you some more colors. Um, we got we got silver here and blue, red, green, green light blue and white so for example like for this blue rose we use the blue string to make this blue rose and for this white lotus we choose the white iron string so it depends on the like the color of the flower and usually, uh, so the the silver and golden is quite common. Yeah, I think I mean if if you just start to learn how to make these beautiful flowers, I will suggest that uh, 
you start with the uh, golden or silver iron string. So next, uh, this is the tape. So the tape is a little bit different. So when you, the tape actually now it is not sticky. So you have to stretch a little bit so that this side it will become sticky. We use this uh, tape to cover the uh, the white the white cotton thread. So let me, let me show you here. Uh, when we use the uh, thread to fix these petals, we use this tape uh, to wrap around this uh, white cotton thread to cover it. So this looks like the bottom of a flower. And this one is... Uh, so, I don't know, maybe we can call it uh, like stamen or pistol or something. It's like the, the, you know, the center of a flower. Here we, for example, in this peony, in this peony I use uh, this kind of, like, yeah, this kind of stamen or something. And we also have different types. Uh, here, let me, uh, let me show you some. Uh, I got so many different colors. And this one, so you can see this one, uh, the top is, uh, is, is quite thin. But for this one, the, t the top is kind of thick. It's bigger. Yeah, so they are different types. And we also have some huge, uh, like pistol or stamen. This one here is huge. We can use this to make some big flowers, like peony, and even bigger than this one. And this one is also is similar, but it has a different color. It's a uh, yellow and red. Yeah, this one is a little more beautiful. So we also get the other. So this one is like the, the bud of the rose. So when we make the rose, so we put this one in the center, and then we use this blue uh, nylon stock to cover it. So it looks like the center of the rose. And we also get some, you know, something for the lotus. So this is like the you know the center of the lotus, and we also have different sizes. This one is big, and this one is medium, and we also have some very very tiny ones. Here. Okay, next uh, we need to have these nylon stockings. So these stockings is like the stocking we wear like in summer, and these stockings they are quite stretchy. So you can see, it's it's very stretchy and elastic. So these stockings they are like pure pink, and we have different colors. Like uh, this might be like a little bit red and blue and magenta. So we have like, I mean you can get all like different kinds of colors from the market, and. These stockings, they are pure color. We also have some stockings that have two colors. So for example, like this one is blue and white. So this color you can see here, this is blue, white, blue, white. So it's like, uh, how can I say, like horizontal. And this color, it has white and yellow but it is dyed vertically. So you can see they have different patterns. And let's see. And we also got get some, you know, stockings have different texture. And this one is similar to this uh, pink rose here. It has some um, like uh, shiny 
like gold gold thing on it. Yeah. And it's also very stretchy. So actually this kind of texture is is beautiful. And let me see, we also have some other stockings here, you know, different texture. And this one is is probably more like fabric or I don't know. Uh, this one is nice. You know, it has the shiny little thing here. It's beautiful. Uh, but this one, it is not very, very stretchy. So, so when we use this to make the petals, we need to like uh, pay attention. Yeah. And so this one is quite interesting. Actually, it's very beautiful. And now let's see. Uh, this stocking, it is like it has the pores, pores like here. It kind, it's kind of a little bit transparent. You see, a little bit transparent. I think it would be beautiful when when I use this to make the flowers. It should be interesting. Okay. So we have already introduced like uh, different kinds of uh, materials. Uh, actually, on the market we can also uh, get some fake leaves. Uh, like these leaves, for example, this is a lotus leaf. It's it is made of plastic, I think. Yeah, you can get these leaves from the market. But we can also use some green nylon stocking to make these uh, leaves. And actually, I prefer you know to use the nylon stocking to make the flower and the leaf. Okay, so that's all we need to make a beautiful nylon stocking flower. And actually, for for those materials, I bought it from China. And at the beginning, actually, I was trying to get them from Amazon or eBay, but I don't have many choices. So. Yeah, if you have any issues about uh, finding these materials, please leave a comment. Maybe I can help you out. Okay, so in this video, I introduced the materials that we need to make this beautiful nylon stocking flower. And in the next video, um, we are going to learn how to make these uh, beautiful flowers. And if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe. And please leave some comments, guys. And thank you so much for watching.